Hi there everybody and welcome back to another episode of Prestige Liquids. My name is Andrew and it is absolutely fantastic to have you here with me today. Now, let's do a, I guess, a, a quarantine edition. I'm just kidding, we're not in lockdown. Our government doesn't give a damn about us um, enough to put us into a lockdown as of yet, but that remains to be seen. But we're not here for politics, we're here for whiskey reviews. And having said that, being that it this video is intended for International Whiskey Day. I figured I would give you something that, or I would give you a whiskey that is actually international. This is not a Scotch, um, it's not Japanese, it's not Irish, it's not American. This is an Australian whiskey, and this is the Lark um, Classic Cask Edition. Um, Lark is a distillery that's based in Tasmania. Um, a, they they are a small island of um, Australia. Uh, where pretty much the majority of our most well-known whiskies come from. Now, Lark Distillery was um, founded by Bill Lark. He has been called the Godfather of Australian, uh, the Godfather of Australian whiskey. Uh, so, yeah, definitely a pioneering person uh, or a pioneering figure in our whiskey industry. So, this particular bottling does beautiful presentation. Comes in this nice, like, magnetic box. So as you open it up, there it is, the bottle sits inside, you've got all this information on the inside sleeve of the, of the box, the bottle sits in there nicely as well, so I'm going to take that out, put this down here. Now some of you might remember um, in my last video that I had done, I had included this in one of the five um, whiskies that I've been enjoying lately. Uh, so I figured, well, I'm going to review this now and uh, let's see what i what i have for you so again as i think i mentioned before this has been bottled at 43 percent um let's pour a little bit there okay yep so bottled at 43 percent um it's an nas um i am not 100 percent certain whether it is uh, uh non-chill filtered or uh has added it, whether it has had any um, added color to it uh, I haven't been able to find that information yet but um, if I do I'll pop it down into the the description below and um, yeah that information will be there so enough of that um, we'll start getting into the nosing um, but before I get into that I would like to mention as well that this is a lightly peated whiskey as well um, they have sourced, uh, say, Australian local, um, say, peat, which actually comes from, sorry, which actually comes from Tasmania itself. So that's another awesome thing. They haven't had to source peat from Scotland or anywhere else. It is locally sourced. So can't get much better than that. The, the nose is absolutely incredible. I mean, you can see how far away I'm holding it to my face and you can already smell that light. Uh, it, it's very lightly peated, but it, you definitely notice it there. Uh, there's a, a ton of fruit that comes through. Apples, oranges. Possible touch of mango. There's some stone fruit in there for sure peach, dried apricots, absolutely fantastic. Some sugary uh, notes come through with a hint of honey. Let me just gaze off into the sky as I give this review. Deep in thought you can see. There's some grassy notes that come through. I am unaware of the age, although this does not smell young. I find that uh, typically a lot of like the younger whiskies tend to have like those strong, um, I guess like ethanol vapors that seem to, um, to come through. Um, this doesn't have that. It is just, uh, it's the nose is perfect. There's some slight wood char coming through. Some saltiness as well. 
Now, please excuse the video quality as well. This is currently on an automatic focus as well. So it is constantly just popping in and out. But um, I'll try and deal with that later on. So forgive me for that. The colour is this beautiful, nice, coppery, amber colour. Absolutely beautiful. There's a quite oily as well. There's some decent legs coming through in the glass. So... All right, I'm going to stop talking about it, um, start getting on the tasting and see what I get for you. So here you go, guys. Cheers. Wow. Beautiful mouthfeel. Full mouth coating. And it, considering that it has such a low ABV, you are getting... An instant like mouth drying feeling um, your tongue just starts salivating straight away all those fruits come through um, now some of those orange notes are starting to turn into more of like candied orange so if you're having like a, an orange lolly honey sugar notes are definitely dominant apples all those types of orchard fruits so uh, yeah, apples pears light peat slightly salty and again a bit of that wood charm is definitely coming through it's one of those whiskies where a lot of the notes from the nose follow through with the um, with the actual tasting notes so that's really good especially if you're wanting to I guess develop your palate and be able to pick up notes so the notes that you're picking up on the nose are definitely coming through on the palate the finish is short to medium um, but slightly going over that medium side it's quite good it's very um, it's very soft it's mellow it's kind of like having a, uh, a fruit salad like when you've just finished off a fruit salad and you're getting all those nice sweet sugary fruit notes coming um, coming up um, again uh, getting some like barrel dryness so there's definitely some um, there's definitely a lot of wood influence in this that follows through from the beginning to end. Way, way at the back, more again of those honey citrusy notes coming through. But um, yeah, all in all, mate, that is an incredible whiskey and I'm glad that I was able to pick it up for a decent price when I found it. Um, it's usually quite expensive, so I think I got a bargain on it. Mmm absolutely incredible and fantastic to be enjoying um, outdoors with some nice fresh air the only thing that's missing now if I was cooking up a barbecue this would absolutely be perfect all right guys well here's my post for international whiskey dirt international whiskey day I hope you enjoyed it uh, my name is Andrew this is prestige liquids WW and please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I'll see you all again on the next video Get this.